Alright everyone, the following contest is a triple threat championship match scheduled one one ball. And it is for the Big Valley Wrestling Keeping things rolling with tag team action. A little more gold, a little less cosplay, but just as much excitement on tap, Mr. Phillips. I can't wait for these individuals to let it all go here for this tag team championship. It's going to be an exciting match. The longest reigning champion in company history. The one and only Fresco Matic. Fresco Matic has set the standard here in BVW. And his partner, Frank the Tank, is also a former heavyweight champion here at Big Valley Wrestling. I don't like the way that Frank is looking at us. It was very intense. I felt like he, he saw into my soul there. I, 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 feel, I feel violated. Well, he looks that way when he's hungry, so don't, you know, that's oh, no. his normal look. I wonder if Frank is a tag team partner so much as he is an insurance policy for Frescomatic here. You know I, what, I, that's a great point. And you know what, that's one heck of an insurance policy because he could take anybody out. He could take a building out if we had to. Well, hopefully he doesn't take this building out. No. We have many great cosplayers and vendors and, and, and performances lined up throughout all of Anime Las Vegas. My friend, I've seen Frank do a, do a dive out of that ring at his size and that athleticism, it was crazy. So I've seen him do anything and everything he wants to do. I, I cannot imagine duking it out with Frank the Tank, let alone all 400 plus pounds of the man diving onto you. I shudder to think what the heartbeats and Sky High have in store. My friend, if there is anyone game for the challenge, it's their opponents. and the meat feeder, Papa Yase, together they are, the heart feeder. For my money, the two aces of Las Vegas professional wrestling. Over the course of the last several years, Nick Xander and Papa Yase, both individually and as a tag team, have carved out a name for themselves as pillars of this area, and more specifically, pillars of Big Valley Wrestling. Absolutely, we know Nick and Papa Yase together. They've never turned away from any challengers, and they have quite the record, and also setting the stand. Let me tell you, Big Valley Wrestling has many many performers and wrestlers that set the standard that other wrestlers, other companies, wish they could reach the heights that these four people so far, let alone the tag team champions, when they come out, people wish they were them. They don't just set the standard, they are the standard, Aaron. And I am loving the so-called mecha braid of one Nick Xander, of course, had it chopped off in recent months and decided to bring it back bigger, better, and badder than ever. The ketchup and mustard colors really tie it all together. Must have had a hot dog when he came up with those colors. Although, I mean, Papa Yase is the meat beater, so maybe there's, maybe there's- Could be. Right, it is the meat that's being beat a hot dog, I don't know.
As the dulcet tones of Lenny Kravitz play us to the ring, this one is especially interesting to me, Mr. Phillips, because Sky High have quite a history with Nick Xander themselves. Of course, as a trio, they are known collectively as Soul Plane. Very interesting that they are facing off as opponents tonight. Well, you know what happens over time. Wrestlers go their different ways to try to accomplish things on their own. However, Nick can provide a little insight to benefit his team about Sky High. But I will share this. What it took Sky High to get those belts around their waist finally, I had the pleasure of being on the microphone to call the match when they won those belts. And it's an honor to see them perform, and I'm anxious to see how they're going to perform in this triple threat for their belts. Well, you were on the call when they won the championships. You might be on the call when they lose the championships. Because they got not just one team to contend with, but two teams to contend with. And frankly, they don't have to be pinned to lose their championships. That's correct. There is no champion's advantage here in a match like this. Whoever scores the first pin, whether they're part of it or not, they do become the next BBW Tag Team Champions. And that's what it's all about in the words of the immortal Dave Prezak, the white gold, the BBW Tag Team Championships. Well, small chant there for BBW, almost like another company that they used to do back in the day from Philadelphia. Well, we are a long way from Philly here, but things are sure to get extreme with these three teams. But well, they do have a Philly cheesesteak out at one of the trucks. I'm not a Philly cheesesteak guy, I oh. must say. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'm not trying to break your heart, but I'm not Well, I, you're from Boston, like what it. do you know? I, I know seafood. <laughs> yes, I bet you do. All right, here we go, my goodness. Of course, we have Mondo Rocks with the blue hair, Robbie Litt. The long hair. I, I believe he still has the red in the back of the ponytail, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Like it, yeah. oh, oh. oh, see? Exactly what you were talking about. There's Nick, knows his former partners here. And, and that is crucial to point out. It is two competitors at once, so you do not have to tag in your own tag team partner. You can also tag in one of your opponents. As Fresco looks like he just did, the insurance policy, as you called it. And that is one hell of an insurance policy. And I hope they reinforce how, the ring, to be honest with you. How many, how many pounds for Frank the Tank? Uh, I believe he was announced at over 400 pounds. Because between the two of them, they're at 690. You can do the math. Well, not quite oh. as big as Frank the Tank, but here comes a close second in the form of the meat beater, the meat grinder, whatever you want to call him. His name is Papa Yase, and he is showing no fear against the tank. Very few, like you said, have a fear or don't have a fear of going up against him, and Papayase is right there in the middle of the ring. I'm not sure, hold on, from oh, behind, what? Fresco oh, Matic wow. with a cheap shot. Well, I guess Fresco is the insurance policy there. Exploder oh. suplex there, levels Papayase. Have you ever seen a man like Yase manhandled like that before, Not Phillips? at all, did you see that ring just almost collapse? It, in it the middle? shook, I thought it was an earthquake. And very smart, isolating the ring, staying far away from Sky High, staying, staying far away from the heartbeaters here. Frank the Tank and Frescomatic just cut it in half and maybe literally doing the same to Yase as the axe handle lands on the back of the neck. My goodness, it was a great drop toe. Cover here, like neck. hooked. Only two, only Sorry. one. You were saying, my friend. No, yeah, there was a beautiful drop toehold to get him down for Frank to do that splash. My goodness. And Frescomatic has to think forward because tomorrow he will be facing the winner of the Battle of Power Gauntlet match that we have coming up next. He has to remain fresh, of course. You got to think he wants to head into that match as one half of the BVW Tag Team Championships. But he's got to live to fight another day. He's got to realize that he is weak and is not over after this matchup. That's a great point. He's oh. Got, oh, my goodness. Tag team offense here. Can you take your own partner in? Yeah, you can. No, you but can. I'm saying, what if, what if? Oh, oh, man, big splash there by Frank the Tank. But Yase able to kick out and the assist from Nick Xander breaking up the pin. And, and look at Nick Xander running like a scalded dog. He wants way. nothing to do with Frank the Tank. No, neither would I. I guess my point is, could Papa Yase have tagged in while, let's say, right now Fresco's on him, but could... Yase hit Frank and have Frank and Fresco go at it. I don't believe so. I don't believe two members of the same team can compete in the match against one another. Of course, referees discretion abound. Speaking of tags, in comes Nick Xander. Just leveling Fresco Matic with chops and kicks abound. Oh. 
Going for the Irish whip here, but Nick Xander able to hold on to the ropes there, and I believe a blind tag was made by Papayase. The drop kick levels Fresco, and another from Papayase. My gosh, the, the power, height, the elevation. And the height, yeah, absolutely, my goodness. And firing up the heartbeat of Las Vegas here. Double drop kick. Baseman style into the cover, new champs. No. Now that's the heart of a champion to just be able to kick out of that one. You know, it's funny, Nick, Nick, Nick Zander refers to himself as the heartbeat, right? And he said it's not just a catchy nickname. People like to make a joke about it. People like to, to make funky cracks at that name. But it really lives up to everything that he represents. He is, in every sense of the word, the heartbeat, the lifeblood of not just this region, but of independent wrestling as a whole on the West Coast. Absolutely. Well said. Sky High now making their first Official entrance into the match. That is Robbie Litt here in the ring with Papayase. A definite size disparity. And you got to think, how personal is this? Do they maybe feel like Papayase has stolen their tag team partner, their brother in Nick Xander? <laughs> Suplexing him down with authority is Yase. Yeah, he tossed him over his shoulder like a sack of potatoes. My god. And taking Fresca Matic there, oh. but again getting a shot from Frank the Tank. I don't believe the referee counted that as a tag, blind or otherwise. But the momentary distraction was all that Robbie Litt needed around the world and down to the canvas, and in comes Nick Xander. Arm drag there. Nice and deep arm drag. Got really under that armpit in there. Robbie Litt is, is a little swayed here. Very wisely tagging in partner Mondo Rocks. I'm not sure if Nick Xander realizes it. Just got rocked and just got dropped. One, two, only a two. Oof. Close. And I got to ask, Aaron, you're probably more familiar as a Las Vegas native with all three of these teams. Who do you give the edge to? Who do you see walking away as the BBW Tag Team Champions? I'll tell you what, speed, you can't take anything away from speed against the big guys because you can always, big guy can make one mistake, speed catches it, I'm calling for Sky High to retain. And you can't argue with it with the dominance we're seeing here. Robbie Litt looking to put Nick Sander away. No, Soul Plane explodes here in the center of Anime Slam. But interestingly enough, you mentioned the speed. What, 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 what I think really gives the edge to the heart beaters, as soon as I say it, for schematic <laughs> levels, Nick Xander, but what I think gives the edge to the heart beaters is that they're the perfect blend. Oh, cover here, leg hooked. Broken up very decisively by Papayase with a shot to the back and a smile on his face. Perhaps third time's the charm. I'll try once more. I give the edge to the heart beaters because they have that perfect balance of power and speed. The power of Papayase, the speed of Nick Xander. But again, as soon as I say it, that aforementioned speed getting neutralized with a knee to the back. So then stop of saying it. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> jinxing him here. But I'll tell you what, you said something earlier. Fresco does have a title defense tomorrow. And I don't know if he's going to play it safe per se. And I know, oh my goodness. Well, nothing safe about that. No. Looking very dangerous. As he sends Xander down, will it be enough? It will not. I know he'd love to have two belts, but he's already got the big meat and potatoes one. But I mean, hey, take nothing away from the Big Valley Wrestling Tag Team Championships. Nice. The prestige with which Sky High has bestowed upon that championship throughout their reign, it, it cannot go unnoticed. Absolutely. Just because you're the world champion does not necessarily mean that you, you undermine the value of so-called secondary championships. And I'm not trying to say that, but... No! Oh, Frank the Tank just drilling Nick Sander back first into the turnbuckle. My goodness, see that ring move forward as he did that, Frank, with his power, but... Again, I, again those, those are steel beams and wood, yeah. folks. This is not some, some flighty, flouncy trampoline. That, that, that is a solid foundation that Frank the Tank is moves, moving like a, like a play set. I'm sorry, Mr. Phillips. No, 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 you're, you're good. It's just amazing how... Frank can just do things at his size that smaller people just can't. Look at that. I mean, he, he missed his target, but he still moved pretty smoothly. Moved very smoothly, but it doesn't matter as no. there was no one home. And now Fresca Matic grabbing at the braid. It was the distraction they needed for Frank the Tank to take back control and tag it in the champ. Tell you what, though, the crowd's into this match behind us. I don't know if you can hear it at home. They're firing up Nick Xander. They are firmly behind the heartbeat, wow. but you want to talk about firm. A shot straight to the face, and he might be out here. Only a two. Man. 
And you know, I was, I was talking to Nick Xander earlier. I was so happy to hear him say that he feels like all the work he's put in, all the miles he's traveled, he's finally reaping what he's sown. He, he's finally seeing all that hard work, all that passion, all that dedication pay dividends here. And, and you gotta hope that that aforementioned passion, that aforementioned dedication, is the only thing to get him out of a predicament like this against Frank and Fresco. And look at Frank bringing Robbie Lynn into this thing. N not a legal competitor, just systematically dissecting both members of Soul Plane here. Well, what is this? Well, there's no disqualifications in a triple threat, right? I mean, you're absolutely right, but I wonder why not just focus on one member and oh my God, oh my God, Papa Yassi on the top row! Moon Soul takes out all four men, my God! Now that tells you what it takes to get a guy like Frank down. Listen, the, the speed, Mixed with the uh -oh. mass of Papayase, it's a deadly equation for Frank, but it is Mondo Rocks taking advantage. Hold on, he's he's he's, he's riding him here. Come red takes down Iase, ironically, from the member of Sky High without red hair. <laughs> oh, but just Nelson's him down there. In comes Robbie Lit with a spin kick to level the champ. Nick so, who's the legal guys? I've lost I, track here. I, I, Nick, I, I think? I'm not the referee. <laughs> Bedlam <goodness>. ensued here. <laughs> a combination Uranagi backstabber there. Going for the cover on Robbie Litt. I guess Robbie Litt is a legal competitor, but it is Mondo Rocks pulling out his soul plane, brother. Maybe Robbie and Nick are the two legal ones? Now they're fighting outside, my goodness. I, I mean, this one has just spilled out and it goes to show you fans, not only the prestige of the BVW Tag uh -oh. Team Championships. Dude, Nick, Nick's looking around. <laughs> Huge dive from Nick Xander. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's the heartbeat. Well, I hope those people in the front row realized how much extra their seats were. I mean, Diana, Diana, all them fall in their lap. Diana with the warning, but was it too little, too late? Hey, Eric, never say we don't have fan-friendly wrestling Absolutely. here at Big Valley Wrestling. Absolutely. Uh oh, uh oh, hold uh -oh. on! <laughs> no! Holy cow! You mentioned it earlier. You must be a prophet, Mr. Phillips. Wow! Oh, 400 plus pounds of Frank the Tank diving to the outside like a cruiserweight. My goodness! I mean, I'm glad you got to see it. I, I got to see it. And feel it. Did you feel the floor I, shake? I, 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 I literally felt the floor shake from under me. I can't imagine what his opponents, namely Papa Yasse, who somehow back to his feet in the ring felt it. But I mean, I mean Yasse barely knows where he is right now. I think the only one that didn't feel anything there was Fresco, but Fresco now is up on the middle rope here. Yasse on the shoulders of Frank the Tank. Fresco has him measured. <laughs> Drop kick, Samoan drop combination, but don't look now. Nick Xander scaling the top rope as a stacked pinfall. Gets broken up with a swanton bomb right to the back of the big man. You know, I, I've watched wrestling for many, 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 many years, probably longer than you're even alive. And I still get amazed at what goes on in a match. Nick Xander, a truly once in a generation talent here, evening the odds for his fallen partner, fighting with the champ on the apron. You know, it's become a cliche in wrestling commentary, but it truly is the hardest part of the ring canvas. Neither of these men can nary afford to land on it at this juncture in the matchup. If anybody's, if somebody out there has never seen a ring being put together, they wouldn't understand why, but you're right. The steel sides, wooden ends, whatever it is. And look at Nick Xander desperately trying to evade and Yase saves the day for his partner. Boot to the face of Frank the Tank. The crowd rallying behind Papa Yase as the heartburn. It takes two fully grown men to neutralize oh. Frank the Tank and still he's back up to his feet. Headbutt Yase. Double drop kick there by Nick Xander has finally neutralized the tank, but who knows for how long. And the champs are still outside in their corner. They're popping up a little bit, but they've been they've been out the leather longest after that uh, suicide dive and by in, the tank. Uh-oh. In come the champs. Yase with Mondo rocks oh. on his shoulder, but inadvertently Nick Xander with a pump kick to his own partner and a cross body Did from the Robbie Lynn. Oh, unbelievable. The height and the power, taking down both Yase and Xander with one fell swoop. Bodies are lying everywhere. Fresco's still outside recouping. 
Papayase is now falling out with the help of uh, Mondo. Xander's on the edge. My goodness, Frank I mean, is I mean, just cleaning house. I mean, I mean, we're here at Anime Slam. This is feeling like a scene out of Death Note yeah. with, with all the bodies thrown across the ring. This is, this is bedlam. It's carnage here. Frank could be his own anime character all by himself. He is. Look at his strength. Gorilla oh. Press Slam into a kick to the face of Robbie Litt. My That's the first God. time I've ever seen the tank do that. Constantly innovating, constantly pushing the boundaries of what a big man can do, and, and this this cannot be good for Robbie Lit. Robbie is out. He's no. barely moving. Uh oh. You're gonna you're gonna flatten the champ like a pancake. Come on. Mondo's moving. And Mondo knows that not only will this lose Sky High their tag team championships, he might lose Robbie Lit his career. Uh oh, look no. at this. No. No. I hope the ring is safe. Double power bomb! That was one of the darndest things I've ever seen. Unbelievable tag team offense from Sky High. You talk about the ring being reinforced, you see the way it shook, and they're not done. Both members of Sky High on the top rope. Stereo splash. Boom, clack, broken up by Papa Yase at the last possible second. It just, doesn't get any closer no, than that. No, just barely. I saw that arm coming down from the ref, but Papa saved the day. I mean, I, I believe those fingers might have even grazed the mat, but referee's discretion, it did not count as a full three count. No, he didn't call for the bell, so. Look at the, look oh. at the strength here of Mondo Rocks. 300 plus pounds of Papa Yase on his shoulders into an airplane spin. Combination there. Leg hooked. Sky high Double targets locked on Frank the Tank. They went through hell and high water to get here, Aaron, but Sky High, still your BVW Tag Team Champions. And Freskomatic, none too, please. No, he's not, but uh, again, a second prognostication, because I did mention Frank flying, and I did mention Sky High to retain, so if you want to go down to the casino afterwards, I'm feeling lucky. Well, you're feeling lucky. I'm pretty sure that Sky High are feeling lucky to not only survive that three-way tag team match, but to walk away with their tag team championship reign intact. You heard it from Diana. The next time we will see you will be when we decide the number one contender for Frescomatics Heavyweight Championship. That is the Battle of Power Gauntlet match, and it's coming up next.